Morning, hi, Julie, Jules, Trues Companion. What I'm going to show you today is a part of the ritual of what I normally do before I travel. The unique thing about today is I'm actually traveling to Brisbane, staying overnight before I go on a cruise. So that's why I am not wearing my cruise scarf, I'm actually wearing just a general scarf. And you may have seen another video before where I've uh, said, oh, look what I do. I, do the, do the washing up. I check everything in the fridge to make sure that there's no expiry date, but you can see today there is actually no fridge. The other thing that I do is I recommend to everybody to clean the bathroom. Bathroom number one. And I think I've taken a little bit to the extreme because literally I have cleaned out the entire house. For a unique reason, I've actually sold the house and when I come back, I'll only stay for the shortest time, just in the bed, because everything else is gone, TV's gone. And when I come back this time, no clothes, nothing, nothing, bathroom, completely clean, completely clean. So what I will do next time is I'll just sleep for a couple of days before I go on another trip. And then when I come back from that trip, my next uh, home will be ready. The renovations will be finished. Because once again, I say, I have cleaned the house. Quite literally cleaned it of everything. Beds, furniture. No dining room table, no painting of the Death Star. And what I have been doing is basically indoor camping. So what I'll do now is I'll just continue with the rest of my uh, ritual, which is to throw out the rubbish. I shall be to throw out the rubbish, so I'll just go and grab that bag. Once again, I'll go and I'll check the letter box, make sure that there's no letters in there, make sure that there's no uh, periodicals or anything that'll indicate to anybody that I'm away. Bit of a gorgeous sunny day today. <coughs> Rubbish gone. One more task complete. This time I'm not going to collect my cruise buddy, this time my cruise buddy is coming to collect me. So I'll just do one last little run around the house, make sure everything is done, bags are packed, ready to go. Another exciting day in paradise. So today is a little bit different. I chose to come to Brisbane a little bit earlier the day before and so uh, my cruise buddy and I are staying in an apartment building just at the dockside. So in a video or so just previously I mentioned about how excited I was about the development of these apartments within this precinct and how it's really important that the cruise terminal becomes part of the overall community. So uh, we've just arrived at, I'm just going to check, Promenade? Proximity. Proximity uh, Promenade. So uh, we've got a full kitchen here. We've got a full dining and settee area. But unfortunately, when you come out onto the balcony deck area, you have water views. This is going to be potentially industrially insane because what hopefully tomorrow we will see is the bow of the boat just there and between those two buildings over there we'll see the rest of the boat. So when I link this video with tomorrow's video, OMG, touchdown. Good morning, 
Jules, Jules Cruise Companion. Welcome to Dockside in Brisbane. This is P&O Pacific Aria. And this is going to be a 10 night cruise to Papua New Guinea. Normally what I would do would be travel to this port, which is my home port, the day before. Oh, sorry, the day of. But this time I was meeting a couple of people, so we came up the night before and stayed in an apartment but here in this precinct. Now, I think I've mentioned before about how important embracing the cruise terminals is to the economy of a city. And when there are buildings, there are apartments, there are restaurants, shops, it, it, it brings um, more of an economy that is anchored uh, to the that suburb or that it's uh, quite an amazing she uh, Aria toddled in about just before six this morning she was actually really quite noisy but her engines are off at the moment or there and low you could barely hear her she's just beautiful just sitting there waiting for us to join her at about 12 midday so we're just down here at Portside in Brisbane and this is going to be our home for the next 10 nights. So this is uh, P&O Pacific Aria. Um, one of the sister ship is uh, to Eden and they used to be Holland America ships. So uh, this is us. I think she's a bit of a small ship. I think she's only about 2,100 people. I'd have to uh, cross-reference that. So here we are at Portside Parking again. Today we live, uh, stayed in an apartment just next door. So we've walked our suitcases over today and we're just going to drop it with the stevedores and then the next time we see them will be um, when we're in our cabin. So the attendant has said to remind us to not have our ticket and our passport in our check luggage because we will need them when we check on. Happy sailing. So here we are at check-in at Portside in Brisbane. We've got our cruise documents, we've got our passport, and actually today we've got a bit of a different document. We've got a Papua New Guinea declaration form. So we'll just sit and we're waiting for our paddle to get called. This is the most exciting time. So here we are on board PO Pacific Eden. Aria, sorry, PO Pacific Aria. We've just locked into our room, so that's 9059. And so we'll just go for a little explore. The bathroom's being used at the moment, so we won't go in there. We can come in. Oh, we can. We can go into the bathroom now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so the bathroom clearly works. So, oh, we've got a shower and over a bathtub this time. And, oh, nice refit there. That's excellent. That's pretty spectacular. And then in this cupboard here we have our safe and because we're traveling with a group of us we've decided on a universal number that we can all use and remember so we've got uh three in a room this time so we've got three single beds here's my other cruise buddies that's fantastic and i've actually decided that i'll take the hit and do the divan this time because both these ladies have taken hits for me on other cruises in the past so well, not even a cruise kathleen somewhere in or land? No. Somewhere. She, Poor Kathleen ended up on a divan. On a, on a divan with... Um, really shocking divan. Where, where was that? Where was that? Oh, New Orleans. New Orleans, New Orleans. New Orleans. Really? yeah. Yeah, yeah, beautiful hotel, but the worst divan ever. So, this is our balcony. We end up with a balcony on this one. And it's so much bigger than the one we had last time on P&O uh, Pacific Dawn. But this is an older ship. This is a, used to be a Holland America uh, boat. I suspect we won't be able to see the apartment that we were staying in, which is just between those two buildings. But this whole precinct is just amazing with the restaurants, etc. Welcome to Brisbane and Portside. So here we are, we're about to leave uh, Portside in Brisbane and we've got our tugboat over here and we've got the Murrumbidgee and she's a beautiful little working ship. She's pulling hard there, keeping 
to get us away from the dock. We'll do a 180 and we'll head towards the Gateway Bridge, which you can see in the distance there. Um, we will carry our pilot until we get into open water and then the pilot will get off um, onto a little speedboat and he'll just zoom away. So and then we'll collect him again when we uh, come back into the Brisbane River in 10 days time. So this is how we start our day.